Minecraft 1.21 has introduced four new potions, which I am going to show you how to make and their uses. So, let's begin. At first, you have to prepare some awkward potions using a nether wart. Then you have to put a stone, simply, here, and wait until it's done. Now you have got an infestation potion, which doesn't have any effects on the player. But when used on mobs, it summons sliverfish when the mob is attacked, just like that. Next, we have got the oozing potion, which can be made by putting a slime block here. And here you got a oozing potion, which again doesn't have any effects on the player. But when used on mobs, summons two medium-sized slimes when the mob dies. This potion can be used for slime farms, or if you just want to add some fun in your game. Now, we have got the weaving potion, which can be made by using a cobweb here. And just like that, you've got the weaving potion. When the weaving potion is used on mobs, two cobwebs spawns like this when a mob dies. Now the secret feature of this potion is that it actually has an effect on the player that is, if you have this potion effect while walking on cobweb, you can walk with more speed than you would without the potion effect. At last, we have got the wind charge potion, which I think is the best added potion in the update. To make this potion, we have to add a breeze rod. Unfortunately, this potion itself has no effect on the player, but has a cool secret use. So, when a mob is killed having the effect, it releases a wind charge which launches the player upwards, just like that. But it doesn't end here. If you put 20 sliverfish in a closed area like this and use the wind charge potion on the silverfish and use a instant damage potion just like this, you can launch yourself upwards up to 500 blocks, which might be the best and easy launcher.